hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Susie, and thank you so much for joining me if you are already subscribed thank you so much for coming back so in today's video i'm going to be showing you step by step of how i make my bed i love my bed to have a lot of volume i love for my bed to look really cozy so i am going to be showing you how to achieve all that in today's video the first thing that you need when making the bed is your bed sheet so i'm also someone that likes neutral colors but today i'm getting out of my comfort zone and i'm going to be using a little bit of color so i thought for me to achieve a bit of color i would use um a different color sheet compared to what i normally use so i'm using this green color i would say it's a faded green because it's really 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 washed out so i've already gone ahead and put the fitted sheet so i'm just going to put my top sheet as you can see the top sheet has a bit of pattern going on i love 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 patterns because it gives it a bit of texture and dimension and this is why i'm going with this set so i have a queen sized bed so obviously my bed sheets had to be queen size so i'm not going to tuck my top sheet yet i'm just going to add my coverlet and the coverlet that i'm using today is green so this is another shade of green so this is another way that i think if you're someone that is afraid of adding color you can go with the color of the same family so i'm just going to be using different shades of green all right so now that i've added my coverlet um making sure that everything is nice and even i'm just going to tuck everything so with my corners i really love 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 doing that hospital corner or envelope corner whatever you prefer to call it this is something that i do every time i make my bed i find that this helps to make the bed look more elegant and it keeps your it keeps your bedding in position if you'd like to see how to achieve a perfect hospital corner just let me know in the comments and i'll just do a quick video just dedicated on making the corner okay, so now that the corners are tucked i am just going to fold the top part of the bed so i'm just going to fold my coverlet together with my top sheet after everything is nicely folded i then tuck in both sides to reveal that pattern that's on the top now that everything's nice and tucked i'm just going to go ahead and add my quilt the quilt will help with giving the bed that feel of coziness and give it lots of volume and lots of dimension so the other tip i do with my quilts or coverlets i go with the king size i just go a size up so if you've got a double bed just go for the queen size and if you've got a queen size bed just go for the king size quilt and also the other thing that i like to do to give my quilt lots of volume is to put two inserts but now that it's getting really warm i just put one insert but we are still going to achieve that volume by folding our quilt so this is what you need to do you need to pull your quilt all the way to the end of the bed fold it in half and then fold it into another half i don't know if that makes sense but you just do what i'm doing in this video moving on to pillows for the pillow that i actually sleep on i like to use a satin or silk pillowcase in today's video i'm using a silk pillowcase from my house i love this because it really protects my skin and my hair and for all the other pillows i'm using my pillowcases that came with the quilt cover so with your pillows you would like the opening to face inside so that it looks really nice and tidy then i'm also just going in with my european pillows last but not least i'm going in with two different throws i'm using this one which is a chunky knitted throw and the other one has that waffle textured look to it i really love adding those because they add that final touch of texture and a layered look as you can see i've got all different textures on my bed this one is a darker shade of green and i really love that it goes well with all the other shades of green that i've already used so this ties in everything really well i'm also going to be putting this underneath my quilt cover and i'm also just going to ruffle it up just to give it that effortless look to look as if um, it's not intentional to make it look as if i just threw the throw okay guys so that's how i make my bed i hope you really enjoyed 
enjoyed this video if you enjoyed the video just let me know in the comments below and if you'd like to see more of these videos where i share my tips on how i do things around my home just let me know as well in the comments down below if you are not subscribed do not forget to subscribe so you can be part of the family do not forget to share this video and like the video thank you so much i'll see you in my next video